Imagine, if you can, an electronic brain operating at millionth of a second speed. I say brain because the new electronic central office will almost think for itself. For one thing, you'll be able to reach frequently called numbers by dialing only two digits. All you'll have to do is give the telephone company a list of the numbers you dial most frequently. The electronic brain's memory will do the rest. And what about those times someone has tried to call you and your line is busy? We thought of that too. When you hear the beep tone on your telephone, you know someone else is trying to reach you. Sarah, will you hold on just a minute? Someone else is trying to reach me. All you do is flick the switch hook to hold the first call while you Hello? take the second. Want someone else on the line? That's easy, too. Flick the switch button, then dial a code number and the number you want. And presto. As we look to the future, we see many extras for tomorrow's telephone users. One day, you may be able to call home and automatically turn off the oven. Or, from a public telephone a couple of hundred miles away, Turn on your home air conditioner and have the house nice and cool when you return from your hot trip. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm calling from Michael Weinstein. Who's this? Uh, this is Chris Tompkinson from Google. <laughs> you know, this is going on for seven months. Hey there, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Arby, and today is February 22nd, 2018. This is episode 442, and it's sponsored by Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty, for being a supporter on the Patreon. And also, thank you new people that have signed up on the Patreon, like Adam and Mr. Fleming's Darshan, Wilfred Dennis Anthony, Alonzo, Cody No Name, Ocular Pat Down, G Wolf, and Reefer Badness. He's back. Hey, Reefer Badness. Speaking of people that make awesome songs for the show, that opening song you just heard, that was by Mimic. He's got a SoundCloud, which I need to link to in the show notes. I'm going to do that right now. Thanks for that one, Mimic. 
And someone else uh, emailed me last night asking if they could put PLA prank call clips to music and just release it on their own SoundCloud. Someone completely different than Mimic. And he did a sample song for me. It sounded pretty awesome. I'm going to use that on a show very soon. But anyone else that wants to do stuff like that, the answer is yes. Like this guy, he wants to put it on his own SoundCloud and his own YouTube and everything. And he just wanted to make sure it was okay. The answer is always yes. Use PLA prank calls for anything you want. Any of your own projects, anything you want to do. Just try to link back to Phone Losers or the Snowplow Show or whatever. I don't care. I think it's awesome that people want to use my clips in their stuff. Please do it. So the Kickstarter is doing well. A few days ago, I set up a Kickstarter for the new 2018 PLA coins. And the goal is $1,000. It's already up to $765. So I'd say the odds are pretty good that we're going to get coins in a couple of months. And if the Kickstarter does better than planned, which is possible because it still has 37 days to go since I stupidly made it a 40-day Kickstarter. But if it does better than expected, I'm going to invest every bit of the extra money into something. I don't know what. I was thinking a snowplow show coin of some sort. You know, a completely different style of coin other than the Phone Losers coin. But I don't have a design for a Snowplow Show coin. I'm just assuming that Don Fickles is going to whip something up that's amazing, but I didn't ask him yet. So maybe some of you people should start submitting designs for some kind of a Snowplow Show coin if you want to. Or at least we could start up something in the Facebook group and discuss ideas for a Snowplow Show coin. I think that'd be pretty neat. And if we don't get quite that high to get another Snowplow Show coin made, then I'm thinking lapel pins. Like just the PLA logo, like a tiny little PLA silver logo thing. Full color on silver. But those are quite a bit cheaper than coins. And I've always wanted to make those. So maybe, I don't know, we'll figure something out. But thank you, 36 people who've supported the Kickstarter so far. Maybe I'll be able to get like four different types of metal for the coins. Because, you know, I'm going to do like a gold coin, silver coins, and whatever that, um, I don't know, like copper or whatever it is. Got to do some of those. I don't know what else they have. But we're going to have some serious options this time as far as the different kind of metals go. I'm putting a link to it in the show notes once again. Or you can just go to kickstarter.com and search for Phone Losers of America. If you don't want to support the Kickstarter, I'm sure we're going to have coins left over when it's all finished. So don't worry about it. You can still get one after. You're listening to the soothing sounds of the PLA on the Snowplow Show. It's a family joke. I'm 78 years old. My daughter is into criminal law. They put me. 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 I see squirrels, I see birds, I see dogs, cats, raccoons, possums, a joke, it's a family joke, and the other daughter deals with fraud. I talk to the animal, I talk to the animal, I talk to the animal, it's a family joke, it's a family joke, it's a family joke. I've got a list here from Kabugula. I'm totally sure I pronounced that one right. And this was sent to me four days ago, and it's for it's another Craigslist list, which I rarely get to these, you know, quickly enough. I'm sure all this stuff is gone by now. Like this first one here is a couch, a free couch, and this posting has been deleted by its author. It's a free blue 1992 metal frame lazy boy couch. Reclines on both ends, if you know what I mean but it's not on Craigslist anymore, so I don't know. I'm going to call these up, I guess. Maybe I'll say I bought the couch. I found a bunch of cocaine and money in it, just like that recliner guy. This says I'll be talking to Amanda. Hello? Amanda. Yes? Hey, we bought that couch from you. You know that that blue couch? Yeah. Hey, uh, we found a better couch. It's like a mauve couch. You know, it's and it's it's the same style, but it's like it's not as crappy. So we're uh-huh. we're gonna bring this one back to you. We're gonna just leave it up there by your door. No. Just, just so you know, it's it's gonna be there. It's gonna just we're gonna lean it up against the door. You could have just given it to somebody else or thrown it away for all I care. No, I don't want to throw it away. That's a waste. That's a waste of couch. 
No, my, my aunt, she got rid of her couch and she gave it to us for free. So we don't need this, this dumb 1992 one anymore. We're just going to bring it back. We're going to put it on. I'd rather you just th- threw it away because I, I can't do anything with it. Uh, I'll put it like on top of your car so you can drive it somewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll hoist it up onto your roof. I'd rather you didn't. Uh, should we put it on the porch? If you have to. We could just leave it out in the middle of the road. Hey, that's what we'll do. We'll leave it in the, in the middle of the road right in front of your place. And you can just pretend it's not yours. Maybe the city will come and get it. Or you can just put it in the dumpster down the street. No, that's, that's probably illegal. No, it's not. Whose dumpster is it? It's, my, it's the apartment. Oh, you better do it then. I don't live there. I'll put it in front of your next door neighbor's door. We'll just put it on their porch and they just won't know what to think. It'll be like a prank. That's what we'll do. Is that okay? That made her hang up. I'm going to take that as a yes. We're going to bring it over to the neighbor's house, put it on their porch or in front of their door. They probably don't have a porch. It's an apartment. Next, we've got Bruno. We've been fostering this sweet little boy hoping to find his owner. It's been a few days now. No one's coming got him hold on let's see what this is see if this is a baby oh it's been deleted does that mean they they found bruno's owner i took him in so he didn't have to go to the pound but now he needs a forever home i wonder if they named it bruno or did it have a tag that said its name was bruno he's so sweet just wants to be loved he gets along with other dogs and cats would be great with kids hello hey i'm calling about bruno uh he's been gone yeah, but, you know, like, I'm the guy that took him. Oh, okay. And, man, he, he's a monster. He, he's like a holy terror. He's been tearing up everything in the house. Uh, he bit the cat on the neck, and the cat has to go to the vet now, and get its neck stitched up. Okay. So we don't want it anymore. I'm bringing it back. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just bring it back and leave it. Should I just leave it on your front porch? I don't even want to talk to you. Really? Yeah. Then don't even bring him back. No, I'm I'm gonna bring him you back. You want to be a fucking dick like that? No, I'm gonna uh, br- I'm bringing him back. Okay. You I'm, have a good I'm, one. No, I'm bringing him back. Oh, John's gonna be like that. Let me call him right back. I didn't even know where to go with that. I didn't think he'd actually get pissed. I'm sorry, but the person you called. Oh, now he's hitting the fuck you button. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice. Yeah, he will not pick up. I've tried him several times. I even tried him from a different phone number to try and trick him a good one. So two people now think that somebody's on their way back with the thing that they got rid of. They think they're going to have to deal with it all over again. Here's an ad that is still up. It's for boys' clothes, sized 3T and 4T. Toddler boys' shoes, sizes 8 to 11. Hello. Hey, I'm calling about the boys' clothes. The free boys' clothes. uh, Yeah, they're already gone. All of it? Mm-hmm. Who'd you give it yeah. to? That 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 ad was posted weeks ago. Oh. It was posted what? Yeah. It was posted weeks ago. Yeah, but like it's 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 still there. You didn't take it down yet. Don't you know how to take an ad mm-hmm. down? Okay, is that all you need? Well, did you give it all to one person? Yes, it's all gone. Oh, why'd you give it all to one person? Why didn't you like spread it out between several people? Let several people get in on it. It's kind of a dick move. Free hot tub. I don't know if it works, but you can come and get it and have it. No leaks. Uh, the post has been deleted. No name on this one. This is Greg. Hey, Greg. I'm calling about that hot tub. Oh, um, yeah. It's actually been gone for a while. Is there an ad still on there? Oh, no, no. It's not that. It's just, I'm the one. I'm one of the people that came and got it. Oh, okay. So, you know, we we took it to our place, to our apartment. We hooked it up. We put it in the living room. Uh And it works. Like, we ran pipes through the walls and everything. Really? Um, But there ended up being a leak in it. And it flooded the downstairs apartment, the people that live downstairs from us. Uh Uh-huh. And the maintenance guy came in and brought over the landlord. And uh, they're saying thousands of dollars worth of damages that you have to pay. Okay. Because it's your hot tub, and, and you're the one that sold it to us, and it had a leak in it or something. 
Okay. Personally, I think it's because I don't know plumbing that well, but that this is what they think. I told them it's probably because of you. So they, I don't know, maybe we could just split it or something. It's it's gonna it's like four, <laughs> it's like uh twenty five hundred dollars. So maybe we could split it like twelve fifty each. Yeah, I don't I don't think so, man. Well, <laughs> I don't think so. You're a hot tub. You did yeah. this. Like you shouldn't have. You can have you have you have a lawyer contact me if you want. That's that's fine. Whatever. Dude. Oh, I can't afford a lawyer, but you know the the landlord's okay. saying it's your fault, and I gave him your number and your address, and they're gonna okay. they're gonna like call you and visit you probably. Good. Let's do it. So All right, bring it on. Get out that checkbook because. All right, you, you, you dest- got it. You destroyed two complete two apartments, like the ho- holes in the. Yeah, he doesn't care. He knows his rights. Man, everything is missing. I just clicked on this next one, free treated lumber, and its post has been removed. It's a uh, two by fours and one by fours would be great for building planters or various odd jobs. Wait, what does it mean? Would be great? Does he want the free lumber? Hi, you've reached Cable Hub with Tyson Foods. I can't get to my phone right Oh, so he works for the for Tyson. This is Cable. Hey, Cable. Uh, this is Greg from the Tyson corporate office. Yeah, hey, Greg. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. Hey, um, we just got some reports that uh, from several people over the past couple weeks that you've been winking your butthole at customers. And we can't have that. There's a policy against that. Hello, Cable? Hello? Um, I'm sorry, which... What was your name again? Uh, my name is Greg. I'm with the corporate office with Tyson Foods. And look, we're, we're not okay. gonna we're not gonna write you up or anything. I'm just gonna put a little note here in your file. It's no big deal. But can you please not do that anymore? Um, I uh, am not gonna commit to having done that. So um, no, no, we we know you've done it because several different of your customers have uh, reported reported it. So, uh, you know, this we, we know what's happened. We just need you to stop. That's all. Just stop. And he hangs up on me. Okay, let's see if he'll pick back up or if he's going to hit the fuck you button. Hi, you've reached Cable Hub with Tyson. Well, damn it. No answer. I tried a bunch of times. I'm just messing all these up. It doesn't matter, does it? This next one has been deleted. It's for free firewood cut into four to six foot length. So easily loaded. Hello? Hello, Sean? Yes. Hey, it's Sensei Doug. I bought that um, that firewood from you, those four to six foot length pieces of firewood. The what? The, you know, you, you put that free firewood up on Craigslist? Yeah. And uh, I I was, um, I, I, I started up this class to teach uh, kids karate here, here at my dojo, uh-huh. and, and we were putting it up on cinder blocks, and I was getting them to, like, punch it with their fists and... And break it with their feet and their, you know, karate chops and stuff. Yeah. And three of them have broken fingers and knuckles and stuff like that. And the parents are saying that you're responsible for the doctor bills. No. Yes. Because it's your. Fi- no. It came from your place. It's your firewood. You didn't tell us it would be this hard to break it. Seriously. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not me saying this. It's the parents of. <laughs> Damn it, I thought that was a good one. I thought he'd fall for it. This is Sean with Green Acres. Please leave your name and number. He's hitting the fuck you button now. Here, let me try and change my area code. This is Sean with Green Acres. Ah, okay, I guess not. We're done with that one. I'm ruining all of these. I'm sorry, Kabugula. It's all my fault. Or, I mean, it's Sean's fault because he doesn't want to take responsibility for his actions. Uh, looks like we have a German Shepherd, fully grown. Three-fourths German Shepherd, one-fourth Boxer that is six years old. She's good outside or inside. I'll be traveling soon. Need someone to take her and be good to her. She's very easy to train. I'm a male, 65. She takes good care of me. What are you getting rid of her for? I only ask to see the place where she will stay and the person she will stay with. Please call me. Uh, Let's see if this ad is still up. Nope, it has been deleted. And I don't know what to say to this. <laughs> like, hey, I bought your dog. I just cooked him. He was delicious. LOL. Or I could say he ran away and it, like he ran out into the street and got hit by a car. And he's slowly dying out here in front of my house. Oops. 
No, I'm kidding. I can't do that. I don't know what to do though. I like I seriously have no idea where to take this one. Um, I could tell him me and his German Shepherd are in love now. We're getting married. I want to get his blessing. I should ask him which part of it's boxer. And he's not picking up anyway, so thank God I didn't know where to go with that one. That probably would have been worse than the other ones I've done. Here's some free bricks from Justin. They're coming off of a, the demolition of a house. We'll load, you haul, call or text for address. This posting has been deleted. I'm just going to tell him again. We're, we're bringing it back. We don't want it anymore. I don't know what else to do. Your call has been forwarded to... Here's 20 Rhode Island Red Roosters. They are nine months old, all in great health. We purchased a straight run and ended up with more rooster than we wanted. They are in a large coop. You catch them. If I catch them for you, there will be a fee per rooster. Wow, what a dick. Charging a fee just to catch them. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's hard to hear you. Um, I'm calling about those red roosters. Ah! Holy crap. Oh, honey, those have been gone for weeks. Oh, no, I know. I'm the one that came and got them. Oh, yeah. What was okay. that? What was that crazy static noise? Are you on a cordless phone? I'm on my cell phone. Oh, that was a weird noise. Anyway, so we got those twenty from you, you know. Okay. And then we got another twenty from this other person on Craigslist. Okay. And, and they brought them to our house, but we don't know where they live. Anyway, we don't need any of these anymore, so we're just going to bring them back. But we're going to bring back twice as many as we originally got. Are you we're, nuts? No, I'm sorry. We just don't need them anymore, you know? I, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, no, I'm just going to bring them by. I'm just going to bring them by. I'll, I'll put them back in where we found them. We'll just toss them over the fence or whatever. There are people all over the Internet wanting roosters or, you know, chickens. Yeah, I don't... Roosters. I don't, Somebody will come hear them. I don't have time for that, though. I'm just going to bring them back to your place. But there's going to be twice as many. We're going to bring 40 of them back. We, we, yeah, we, no. We took 20 with us. We're, we're bringing back 40. No. Plus a kitten. No. No, it's... Who uh, is this? Uh, we, we, we're the ones that came and got those 20. Originally. No, you're not. What do you mean, no, I'm not? You're not. Who is this? Someone's screwing with me. Who is it? <laughs> I'm not screwing with you. I just... We just don't need them, you know? Like, we, we got... We, we're in over our heads at this point. Um, they're starving. We don't even know what to feed them. Okay, I have no idea who you are. Uh, I, you're not the same. You're not the same person that I, came and got the chickens that I had. I'm his son, though, and he didn't know what he's doing. He's got dementia. Like you know, he he's he's just a big dummy. There was like five guys there. I the main guy, the head the the, the head guy in charge. <laughs> What's so funny? You you can't throw them over the fence because the coop's behind our house. I know. We'll just we'll just drive up there and put them back where we found them. Okay, it's not a big deal. We've got them all no, loaded it is, up. We're gonna. It is to us because we just changed our pins and put goats out there. Well, the... so it is a big deal to us. What happens if you put roosters we and goats away for a reason? What happens if you put go roosters and goats together? What happens? I have no idea. Let's find out. No, let's not. Post them on the internet they'll, to get rid of them. They'll probably get along just fine. Just put them together. Honey, it'll, okay, it'll, I don't want to see 20 or 40 extra roosters that aren't doing anything for me. What part of it are you missing? Why don't you put them on the internet? I did. Yeah, well, just do it again. <laughs> just go to Craigslist, and you can click on this button that says Relist. And you, you don't even have to do any work. Just relist it. Okay. I, 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 I'm I having a hard time here because I don't know if this is real or not. I really don't. Well, how about we I just, don't know. If, we'll just bring them over and just let them loose in the front, like out in the street. Yeah, and they'll call the police on you. No, don't do that. I've got two strikes. I don't, I don't need the police called on me again. Well, then don't be so ignorant, okay? Um, if you would like... I will put them on the internet. Are you not on Craigslist? No, I, I'm not allowed on the internet anymore. Ever since the incident. What incident? I don't like to talk about it. Who the hell am I talking to? My name is Steve Dave. Hey, 
that wasn't like getting my chicken soup. I don't know who you are. No, I'm his son. I'm, I'm the the main guy's son. I'm his son. No, it's impossible. Why is that? What impossible? did you say? What did you say your name was? Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah, it's one word. It's my first name, Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah, Dave. D A V E. Steve Dave. It's all one word. That's my first name, Steve Dave. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't mean to laugh, but it's okay. this is like a practical joke type thing to me. No. So I, I don't know how to take you serious when it feels like a practical joke. I'm a Christian, so you don't I don't... You sound Hispanic I don't at s- all? I don't sound what? Hispanic. Pastatic? You have Hispanic. Spanish? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm American. Okay, so I the know three that. different people I talked to on the phone that day were all Hispanic. They all had an accent. Oh, Hispanic. I thought you said Pastatic. It's that <laughs> damn cell phone of yours. Okay, who put you up to this? <laughs> That's no, all I can say. Who put you up to this? My father did. He doesn't want these stupid roosters anymore. He said they're a bunch of assholes. God. Okay, i tell you what I'll do. Okay. I'm still not believing it, though, but I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay. I will, I will go on Craigslist, and I will repost this because there are two different people wanting them. Okay. I'll post it, and I'll give them your phone number. Okay. And then they can call you, and you can get rid of them that's if a, you're on the up and up. That's a great idea. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Hey, if you're going to use the internet for me, can I get you to search for some things for me since I'm not allowed to use the internet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So what else? Uh, how to make napalm using common household items. Okay. Not <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I think it's styrofoam yeah. and gasoline, but I'm not sure. And I don't want to get it wrong. You have a good day, sweetheart, okay? Okay, so you got my number, right? I got your number. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, just let me know as soon as, as soon as someone wants to come and get them. Otherwise, they're going in your garage. Yeah, they'll call you. I don't have a garage. <laughs> well, they're going somewhere. Just open up your front door. <laughs> you can't get to my front door. Uh, we'll oh, my God. Too funny, too funny. We'll you have a good that. day. All right, bye. bye. Jesus Christ. She was awesome. I thought she was really going to Google some things for me. I was going to get her put on a terrorist watch list. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. We've got a free beagle to a good home. Free, super friendly beagle. The posting has been deleted. And I'm having the same problem with this one as that German shepherd. Like, what the hell do I say to him? Be like, we were out for a hike and he fell off a cliff. He's dead now. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know what to do. Wayne. Hey, Wayne. Uh, I'm calling about that beagle, that free beagle. Oh, uh, it's it's I already gave him away. Oh, no, I know. We're the family that got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we took him to the vet. Oh. Did, did you know he's an android? No. What does that mean? Uh, he's mostly um, mechanical. Like, he has robot-style legs and, you know, limbs, and uh, he's got, like, a metal skull and stuff, a computer brain. He's a robot dog. What? I'm completely serious. I, it's the craziest thing. Um, they, they were saying like his, his heart rate was irregular, so they x-rayed him, and it turns out he is mostly mostly uh, mechanical. Like he's some weird future dog or something. <laughs> like, did you know about this? Because you didn't tell us this when you gave us the dog. Uh, no, I did not know about anything like that. Where'd you get them from? Uh, I do not know. Uh, it's my ex-wife got it for my son. Wow, because this guy, like, can't... Dude, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. I uh, know, like, yeah, it's us too, and now we're stuck with the vet bill, and we have a robot dog. It seems like a real dog. It has, like, cameras in its eyes, and it's given off radio. Well, it seems like, it seems like, uh, you'd make a lot of money off of that. 
yeah, but like I don't know like where this came from. Are we allowed to sell it? Does it belong to the government? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you are. I don't know about that. This, this seems pretty advanced. I've never seen anything like it. The vet was just like, holy shit, you know? I imagine. It has cameras in well, its eyes, get, though. And maybe, I, you could, uh, maybe you could gear it up with some uh, lasers in its eyes. Yeah, well, I don't know how to do stuff like that. Walk them around. I don't know how to do stuff like that. I'm just... Uh, maybe you could hook up like a flame flamethrower to his mouth yeah that's pretty fucking that's funny pretty but cool. listen we, we don't appreciate this you know we were told we were just getting a normal dog and you've given us this this monstrosity yeah man it's terrible i don't know like uh, maybe your ex-wife gave it to you to spy on you because it's got cameras in its eyes cameras for eyes you know yeah it's uh do you think that's a possibility yeah i, I guess it would be Yep, I don't know, but we don't want it in here spying on us. We're going to bring it back. Okay. We're going to be there bring it back. tonight. Are you going to be there around tonight? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. If you're not there, we're just leaving it in the yard. Okay. Because, you know, I, I, don't, work. I don't want this thing around me. It's it's not natural. It goes against everything I believe in. Yeah, no doubt. I'm a religious man. person. Yeah. And this is bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd be pissed too, man. Getting a robot dog is yeah. You you keep it. Would be crazy. Let, let it hang out and spy on you. I will. You. I, I will make some money off of it yeah, since get... that's all you care about. Okay, all I'll right. do that, man. Bring it back. Okay, see I'll you make tonight. Some money off of it. See you tonight, motherfucker. Okay. All right, bitch. Hey, not cool. What the hell? <laughs> I thought he was believing it there at the very beginning, but nope. I don't think so. He's like, wait a minute, this ain't right. Here's a free mobile home, three bedroom mobile home that must be moved. Pretty rough, but could be livable with some TLC or could be used as scrap. Contains a working washer, dryer, dishwasher that go with it. Considered selling it for about 1K, but need to get it moved off the property ASAP. So it's free to the first taker. The posting has been removed. I can't believe these are all removed. He sent it just four days ago. Hello, Clint Wilson. Hey there, I'm calling about that that mobile home, that free mobile home we got from you. Oh, um, that, uh, are y'all the ones who took it? Yeah, yep. Okay. Hey, we were opening up the walls to do some wiring in it. Uh-huh. And, um, the whole, uh, one of the side walls, like all along the side by where the beds are, uh, uh-huh. it was filled with these, uh, Spanish gold doubloons. They all say, fifth, oh, "What is that?" Uh, like you know, gold, like you know, treasure, oh, pirate wow. stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The years really? like fifteen seventy two on them, I think. Were oh the, wow! Were those yours? Okay. Um, I mean, they, it was my father's before me, so hmm. I mean, we could find out. Would he? Um, would he have had a bunch of pirate gold and is hidden in his trailer walls? <laughs> I mean. He does have about 20 years of his life after the Army that I do not know about. So, oh, yeah. Um, I think he was going around I mean, treasure man, hunting. I mean, he was. He might have been. Holy cow. I mean, is it yep. a lot of them? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm surprised the trailer didn't tip over. It's so heavy. Like, these are oh, my goodness. really big and really old. They're, they, it looks like they're solid gold. And they're, they're all stamped oh. with a bunch of Spanish writing. Something about ye you intruders serious? beware. You're, really? You're not you're, seriously? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. 1572, oh, wow. I think it says. Yep, on these, each one. Oh, my God. Well, if that's the and, case, man, I'll definitely, you know, I, I appreciate you letting me know, and I'll definitely, you know, give you a cut of whatever that is. Oh, no, no. I'm not giving it back. I'm just calling to find out. Like, we were just curious. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I was basically just calling to say, "Ha, I'm rich, and you're not. You gave us this away for free." But also, the the, okay. wa- the washing machine doesn't work, and that was kind of bullshit. That was kind of a bullshit move. The washing. Okay, I don't know, man. I hadn't lived there in six months. I think so. So you were you were full of it on that. Full of it. It was. A, I guess I don't know. It was a pretty trailer. So why are you calling me if you found something? And you're not going to get it back. Well, I was just wondering, like, you know, where, where, did, like, how did this happen? How, how did all this pirate gold get in here? These gold doubloons. It's <laughs> a good question, man. I'm baffled. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sell these probably. There, I'm, why would I have given that? 
Yeah, that's I mean, what that's, I thought. I just amazing. Th- I thought you were an idiot yeah. or something. I think I'm going to sell these and get a nice trailer, one that has a, okay. a working washing machine. Well, man, if they're actually gold, you can get a whole lot more than a trailer. Oh, yeah. Yep, I know. I'm, I'm going to buy back the, the, no, the goondocks. I, I mean, I'm sorry the trailer's a piece of shit, man. I mean, that's why it was free. Oh, well, you know, I, I'm willing to forgive it because now we're filthy rich <laughs> with all these gold, gold doubloons. <laughs> all right, man. Well, uh, I, congratulations. Thank if you. If that's the case. Yep. And and I, I'm excited to hear about it on the news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's going to be big news. I can't wait to... Uh, we're we're going to take it into uh, some, some specialist uh, later this week. Okay. Well, that, that I mean, awesome. I mean, congratulations if that's the case, man. I had no mm-hmm. idea. I'll I mean, have to check with my dad and see if he had any idea. Don't, don't he may be, go, oh, shit, my gold. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But, you know, stupid <laughs> him for giving it away. Hey, don't be thinking about coming over here and trying to steal them, though, because I know you have my number and everything. I know but, I, I, okay, all right, man. Well, I mean, good luck to you. Sorry about the washing machine. We're, we're hiring. Washing machine. We're hiring. We're hiring security, round-the-clock okay. security till we bring this stuff in. I would, too, man. I would, yep. too. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. All right, man. Good luck to you. Yeah, I, thanks. I hope, I hope you struck it rich, man. Yep, me, too. Bye. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> well, he was accepting of that for a split second there. He thought he was going to be filthy rich. Then I told him no, and he's just a nice guy about it. What a nice guy. Okay, so I've taken a break since I did all those before. Those were done like sort of in normal daytime hours, evening, I guess, for these people. But now it's 10 p.m. It's 10.30 in my time zone. In these people's time zone, it's going to be about 12.30. Let's see if this person giving out graduation gowns for free will pick up. Graduation gowns. Two graduation gowns, both 5.6 to 5.8 black. Hello. Oh, thank God you answered. Hey, I'm calling about those graduation gowns. I have no idea what you're talking about. Graduation gowns. You know, like uh, you put them on Craigslist to graduation. No, you have the, you have the wrong number. No, no, I copied and pasted this. Uh, one of my mm, listeners okay. sent it in, Kabugula. There's no way I got the wrong number. I, co- I copied and pasted it into my SIP client, lady. <laughs> Okay, Kaboogoogoogala. God damn it. What the hell was that? It looks like that ad is still up. So let's check the number. And yep, yep, that's the number that's on the ad. Weird. I can't be the first person that called her, can I? I guess I could. Found puppies. Two Rottweiler cross puppies found on I-40 near Weber Falls. Couldn't let them get hit by a big rig. Going to be good watchdogs. Need good home. No fees, just a good home. Yeah, they'll be great watchdogs till they bite your kid's face off. Looks like this one has been deleted. I'm supposed to call Steve. What the hell do I say about Rottweilers? I don't know. I'm just going to call the number and see what happens. Tell them it's a robot dog or something. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about those found puppies, those Rottweilers. Oh, uh, I've been in the home. You what? Speak, speak into the right Found end of the phone, la- lady. Found him a home already. You found a what? A home. You found a home for yourself? For the pup. Oh, oh. <laughs> Didn't like that. Damn it, okay. Maybe I'll just save that one and try it again in the morning. I guess instead I'm going to call about this free refrigerator and scrap metal. Oh, he puts his address on here. Free large fridge. Runs but don't get cold enough. Miscellaneous scrap metal. I'm here working. May not hear the phone. If you see the ad, it's still available. Let's look at his address. Maybe I can see the fridge sitting out there. Oh my god, this house is a shack. Like, he's got a garage, but it's just a bunch of, like, pieces of scrap plywood put up against the front of it. Like, different parts of the house have been painted. He's got two trucks sitting out in the lawn, which may or may not run. He's got a camper out back. He's got a pile of bricks out there in the front yard, just stacked up, about two feet high. Bunch of shit all over the porch. <laughs> oh, I, I love laughing at other people's homes. It makes me feel so good about myself. Hello? Hey, Ben? Yes? Hey, it's your neighbor. This this is Jimba. Down the street. 
Hello? Okay. What you doing? Well, I'm sitting here with my wife. Oh, what are you guys doing? Are you watching TV or... Jim who? Jim down the street. I live, uh, I don't know, not, not even a half a mile down the street to the left. Hey, I saw you hauling a, a fridge around the other day. You got like a fridge available or something? No, not really. Because I noticed you're always selling things and getting rid of things. You don't have a fridge? Because our fridge went out. No. No? Where do you live at, bud? Uh, just down the street. Down a little. I'm on. I'm on Worsing too. I'm. I'm just down the street a ways. I'm in the White House. It's you know the the house that's all painted one color. Not really. Yeah, that's me. I always wave at you when you come by. So what I do you don't know. I don't live over. I, I don't live over there, bud. Oh, you don't? Who who lives there then? I moved out of there. Oh, who lives there now? Nobody. Why not? Did it get condemned or something? No. Oh, you should rent it out. I know someone that might be looking for a place. Well, I'm not interested in that. Oh, well, what are you going to do with it? I mean, you may as well make a little bit of money off of it. Come on. Buddy, I don't know what your deal is, but it's after midnight. So? Come on, we're adults. We can stay up late. I'm going to be up till like 2. Well, shit. Okay, let's try him right back. Your call has... Man, I really suck at nighttime calls. Maybe I'll save that one for the daytime, too. Maybe he'll pick up tomorrow. Cute puppy. Hi, my name is Golden. I'm a good cuddle buddy and great with kids. I am looking for a new home. My owner has gotten very busy and can't spend a lot of time with me. Please take me. I really want to meet my new family. And there's no link for this one. I'm sure it's gone by now. I mean, with an ad like that, how could it still be there? Unless it wasn't really cute. Uh -huh. Hello, Tina? Yes. Hey, this is Steve Dave. I'm, I'm with Craigslist. Uh, you placed an ad on our site, uh, looks like, uh, four, five days ago, about a puppy, uh -huh. about the puppy. Oh, uh, he's already gone. Oh, no, no, I'm not calling. I'm calling from Craigslist. I'm, I'm with the Craigslist Corporation. Uh-huh. And um, is this, I, I have serious doubts that this ad was actually written by a puppy. Like, it seems very misleading, and you can't do that on our, on our site. That's fraud. That's deception. And you called 1230 in the morning to tell me that? Yes, I did. Because like, you're, you're, you're being like, hi, my name is Golden. I'm a good cuddle buddy and great with kids. That's not you, right? You're impersonating the dog? Uh, okay, thank you. No, I'm serious, Tina. You, you, want, your, your, okay, you, thank you, you. you want your account to get deleted? Go right ahead. You we'll, feel like you need to do. No, we'll ban you for yeah. this kind of stuff. Don't be doing this. Not on our, not on our site. <laughs> Keep this fake news over on Facebook. She's just gonna think that was a dream in the morning. The last one on here says free wood, some pine, oak, and cedar trees need taken out. I have a property that has been getting overgrown and needs thinning out. Most of the trees are already taken down, so it's just a matter of cutting up the down trees and taking the wood. Also, more oak trees we would like to drop. Wow, fucking tree killer. No wonder we've got global warming. People like this. People like Terry. Please text me if interested because emails from here usually go to spam. And I'm not taking the time to go through all the spam to find them. I will give you directions and figure out a time to meet if you are serious. Oh, so he doesn't like it when people aren't serious. Hello, you have reached Terry Nunn. Okay, it is Thursday morning. It's no longer nighttime again. It's the next day. Through the magic of pre recorded shows and editing and stuff. Hello, you have reached Terry Nunn. This damn tree guy refuses to pick up, so I'm giving up on him. I'm deleting him from the list. I really wanted to tell him that I lived in one of the trees and not to cut it down. Hey, looks like I still have the number of that refrigerator guy from last night here. May as well call him back, right? 
I'm calling from a different number, so he won't know it's me, hopefully. Hello? Hi, Ben? Yes, sir? Uh, I bought that refrigerator from you a while back. You, you were selling a fridge? Refrigerator. Yeah, on Craigslist. You, you gave away a free refrigerator? Yeah. And I, 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 w- I brought it on my property. I was shooting it with a gun, you know, just for fun. And it turns out they have, like, the some kind of toxic gas in there, and I, I ruptured some kind of a line. And the, e- the EPA, they want you to, the, to pay for the cleanup costs because it was your refrigerator? Pay, paying for me, buddy. I, no, this is the... refrigerator is on you. I have no idea even what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I was shooting it with a gun. I brought it out on my property. I was shooting the refrigerator with a gun, and there was an explosion. And now the EPA is demanding that you pay for part of the cleanup. It's going to be like three. For shit, buddy, I had nothing to do with it. Well, this is the EPA. You can't argue with the EPA. That's like a big. Have a nice day, buddy. I don't know what kind of nuts you are, but it's on you. No, it's it's not. It's like we have to split the cost. He's never going to list anything on Craigslist again. Okay, here's found puppies. Did I call this last night? I can't remember. It's a guy named Steve. I think he wouldn't pick up. It's Rottweiler puppies found. Hello. Hey, I'm calling about those Rottweiler puppies that you found. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm one of the people that took them. You know, we uh-huh. we, we took those from you, and we cannot we we cannot poop train these things. They are just shitting everywhere, and uh-huh. we give up. We're bringing them back. <laughs> what? What? I've got my I've got my daughter's dogs. Oh, that's nice, honey. Yeah, but these Rottweilers, we cannot potty train them at all, and we give up. I'm going to bring them back today. Okay. Bring them back to your house. Well, you'll be dropping them off in the front yard because I won't accept them back. Oh, well, I'll just put them back on I-40 near Weber Falls. Who the fuck is this? Did you call me last night at 12.30 in the morning? I don't think so. What was said? Yeah, I think you did. No. Your voice sounds familiar. No, no. Well, that's fine. That's fine, you fucking dick. That was a completely different person. (laughs) Shit. I don't remember what I said to him. I thought he didn't pick up. That's that's nice that he remembers me, though. Okay, rental clean-out. Free stuff, including scrap, numerous bags of men's clothes, women's, little girls, desks, kids' toys, strollers, scrap metal, probably several other things. Don't call or text me wanting an itemized list. Yeah, I remember. I think this one did not pick up last night. So I was going to ask for an itemized list. Itemized detailed list. Hello? What do you want? Oh, hey. I'm calling about the, the stuff that we got from you a while back. Those kids' toys and strollers off Craigslist. What? Craigslist. You know Craigslist? You put stuff on Craigslist to, to, to give away for free. What the hell? Are you grouchy? I mean, like, you answer the phone, what do you want? I, don't, I gave you a stroller. What are you talking about? Okay. You put an ad on Craigslist, stupid. You had toys, strollers. Hey, man. Hey, you might as well stop with that shit right now. Okay. Well, you like, how do you not remember this? It was just a few days ago. It was like a week ago. Like, what, what are you, are you on drugs or something? Man, you got a lot of nerve. Okay, well, I'm trying to tell you something. Don't you want to hear? Get to your point. Okay, we picked up the stuff. We got the kids' toys and the strollers, and we tested them. There's a bunch of lead and stuff in them. And now the EPA has uh, sectioned off our ho- our home, and they're saying, yeah. Well, tough shit. No, you have to pay for some of the cleanup, sir. They're I'm saying, not paying shit. Because you gave it to us for free. It's your stuff, and they're, they're, well, they're sending in a cleaning tough crew. Tough shit for you. It's going to be like $3,000, and you have to pay for it. Well, I guess you better go get a job. Well, no, no, the EPA is. I already gave them your name and your number. They're coming to. Well, I guess I'll talk to them. Get your get your checkbook out, motherfucker. Yep, I'll do it. You better. Uh huh. So what's with the grouchiness? Are like, are you off your drugs or something? Yeah. You've been. How many days you've been sober? Oh, a day. Oh yeah, I can tell. Like you answer your phone. What do you want? <laughs> Holy shit. You need some drugs. You need some drugs, sir. Are you done? 
Uh, no, I just need to let you know the EPA they're uh, they're they're demanding payment. And I was thinking, okay. um, you know, I could put in a little bit of money, like maybe we'll put in five hundred bucks or so. No, I'm good. But this is kind of bullshit, you know. We had to they 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 roped off our house. They said we can't go in until those. Those well, I guess you got to move to a new trailer park. Lead-based toys and strollers and. Uh huh. Why are you giving away stuff like that? That's crazy. Okay, are you done? Um, no, no. What are you doing there in the background? What's all that noise? It's kind of loud. <laughs> it sounds like he's throwing stuff around in anger. Okay, last one. Free bricks coming off of a demolition of house. We'll load U-Haul. Call or text for address. I don't know what to say. Uh, am I bringing the bricks back? I don't know. I've run out of ideas. I don't know what to do anymore. That's pretty much my thing at this point, just trying to give all the shit back that I get from people. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Roy. Um, you know those bricks that you gave away on Craigslist? Yes, sir. I I'm one of the people that got, got a bunch of those bricks. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know you got some, but okay. Oh yeah, we just came and took them. We just came and like just took a bunch. Okay. Do you have a bunch left still? I don't know. I've I've not working up there here lately. So yeah, if there's some up there, you can have to sell to them. Yeah, yeah. We came and we took some. We also went in inside one of the the structures over there and like just rooted around for stuff. See if there's anything we could just take. Um, but mostly we got the okay. bricks. Yeah, it's, it's everything should be pretty much level now. Yeah, go by there and get some bricks. Yeah, but so here's the thing, though. Um, there's going to be some scientists from uh, Berkeley coming out soon, and they're going to be uh, running tests on the bricks uh, because we found out that the bricks were made from uh, some meteorite material that's basically uh, part of the building blocks of life on planet Earth, and uh, your your house is made from this stuff, and um, they want to come and get more samples of it. So they're probably going to rope off the entire area. They're going to set up a lab. They're going to put a tent over the bricks. Okay. And um, I don't know. Your your house is going to be on TV. Uh, there's there's like living microbes inside the bricks. They think it might contain alien life. Okay. And I don't know. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah, just let me know what's going on. Who would have thought that your house was made out of the building blocks of the entire world? Yeah. Yep, they're saying it's, uh, yeah, definitely stuff from deep space. Okay. Isn't that exciting? You don't sound that excited. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm driving through traffic right now, sir. Oh, I see. So were you planning on doing anything with that property out there? That's, that's actually, I'm not the homeowner. I can give their contact number if you want. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool because, uh, yeah, he's going to be banned from that property like for the foreseeable future because they're going to put tents up. They're, they're going to like just erect a bunch of crazy military stuff. Okay. I'll, I'll send you the contact number. Oh, man, you can't just tell me. Just just take your eyes off the road no, for a second. I'm, no, I can't, man. I'm driving the traffic. Just make sure you're not tailgating. Get on a straight stretch of road and, and start rooting through your phone. It's cool. I hung up. Wanted to cause him to get into a serious car wreck, like the guy that was using that cactus soundboard. Almost caused that guy to get hit by a car. Thanks again, Cabugula, for this list of Arkansas area Craigslist stuff for free. I wouldn't say they got, you know, much angrier than anywhere else in the world. Especially that rooster lady. She was awesome. But I still had fun. Oh, and by the way, thanks for the cool ASCII art on this list. On the top of this list, he did some ASCII art with a cactus and a phone and PLA. It says free Craigslist stuff. That that was a nice little touch you put on this list, Cabagula. Uh, beautiful bastard, Doctor Smoothrod here. Holy it's a shit! Bit since I've called in, so I figured I'd. It's Doctor Smoothrod. I check in with you. Uh, it's, I I haven't drank in like eight days, man. Holy Fucking shit! Lent, Me yo. too. No alcohol. Uh, and Same so far here. that's been going good. I now have a benzodiazepine and hydrocodone uh, issue. I obviously that's all right, with though. The weed too, uh, anyway, your show has been going really good, though. Um, Thanks, helping me get to my Dr. Smooth Rod. Oh, you're getting divorced. Damn, that sucks. You stopped your show 
honestly probably just going to fucking kill myself. But on the plus side, if you keep the show going, about a month or two when all the fucking dust settles, right? Um, I've been working on like some, like some fucking theme songs for you and shit. Yeah, I'm hurry the fuck up. up. I need a theme song for Brad's Cactus Shack. I need a theme song for the Hobo Sodes. And I need a theme song for Mr. Dobelina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. Also, what are the odds I'm going to stop all four podcasts? I think you're safe. You're safe from killing yourself over your divorce. Cool ass music, dude. So, congratulations on the divorce. Anyway, Brad, being single is awesome. You're you're a good good guy. All right. Thanks, Doctor Smooth Rod. You're all right too. Uh, hey, 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 Brad. Hey, how's it going? Corbin um, guy. I, I'm giving a call because um, I, I was uh, list. I got bored, and I, I started listening to some of the old archives from 2015. Yeah, and, why? and I'm watching. Um, I've been guy. doing that because I've been like going through the 2015 archives. I'm almost finished with all of the archives, converting them all into single pranks to put on Mr. Dabalina's whatever. And to put on the YouTube. Okay, I'll shut up. Um, is season five, season six, and um, just like a, uh, just like you know, Pink Floyd and the Wall and Dark Side of the Moon. You know, just like have a yep. couple of beers, have a couple of smokes, and listen to the Snowplow Show and and watch some Family Guy with, with the volume off. The and, Snowplow and, Show and, is the new Pink Floyd. Up slash it Family Guy. Up and and it becomes uh, astronomical. To the, to the spirit and the soul. Mm. Um, yeah, it does. Thanks. It does, really. Thanks, yeah, and that's that's my... Uh, Everyone should that, try that. That's my... Uh, Get whole... totally wasted on whatever drugs or alcohol are available around you and listen to the Snowplow Show all night. Work assignment for all you listeners. Uh, not only to uh, give some money to the Patreon and to support the show, but to also, like, um, you know, get high and, yeah. and, and sync up... Get and, high and, and make bad and financial sure. decisions and support the Snowplow um, Show. Uh, you know, w- with us. For 20 and, bucks a month. Uh, and, and then tell us, like, what episode, what year, what show, and, you know, and, and like, where it really works, okay? Yeah, please do. Please do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That please needs to that. be a part of the Wikipedia page over at phonelosers.org slash wiki. The best shows to listen while you use drugs. Peace out. Peace out. Bye, Corbin guy. There's like 20 seconds left of this two-minute voicemail. I'm just stopping it. Hello, Brad. It's your boy, your favorite boy, your luscious boy, your romantic boy from 815 area code. Holy shit, hey. This Valentine's Day, I call in with a very special poem All right. to one of your dear, beautiful listeners. This is from Valentine's Day, by the way. I'm a little bit behind on the voicemails. Her name is Nico. All right. Okay. Nico, oh Nico, you are so sweeto. Oh, you make me listens. want some Cheeto. Nico, oh Nico, your voice so squeako. You remind me of my favorite prequel. Nico, Which oh Nico, with a voice so fine. Oh, won't you be mine this Valentine? I like the heavy breathing. That really added a nice touch. That goes out to that very special little lady, Nico. Oh. You're getting excited. Holy Won't you shit. be my Valentine, Nico? I love you. I love you so. Anyway, Bradley, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day and it was the best. carry on with the pranks. I didn't have to buy anything. It was awesome. Goose, Bradley, to spread that love and that cheer. And I love you, Bradley. And I love you, Nico. Be my Valentine. There you go, Nico. I'll give you his phone number if you hey, want to. Just is crazy Calvin. Just let me know. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's not really. It's Jack. Hey, I have hey, a few Jack. questions for you. Hello, How long have you been recording your phone calls? I know you've been doing, like, prank calls since, like, the 90s. So I'm just curious how long you've been, like, recording them. Since the mid-80s. And when and how did you meet Carlito and Matt and Dwight? Question number one. I've been recording my phone calls since the mid-80s. I used to have a uh, inline recording device hooked up in the basement to the phone lines so that I could listen in on my parents' phone calls later and hear what kind of shit they were saying about me. Because I was a bad kid. I was always getting in trouble, so I got talked about a lot on the phone. I found some juicy stuff that way. But if you listen to Brad's Cactus Shack, there is some stuff from 1986 or 1987. Like the original What's Your Bid calls. They're really terrible. They're not funny at all. But we're calling up radio stations and recording them. I guess we recorded those off the radio, though. That doesn't count. That's not recording phone calls. That's just recording the radio. But definitely since at least 1985. 
And before I was recording phone calls, I was recording the CB radio. I was recording other CB radio people, and then I would cut the conversations in half. And then later, I would make them have conversations with themselves or with other people when they weren't around. Or when they were around, they're like, hey, that's not me talking. How, how do they have my voice? It was awesome. Eventually, they got too smart for me. They started watching the needle whenever I would transmit with someone else's voice. And they would jump in after I transmitted with someone else's voice. And they'd be like, that's not really him. We can tell by the power output. And uh, your house was old as shit. I like, know. Very old. I can tell by some of the videos. Was it was built in 1900. So this house is 118 years old now. It's definitely haunted. You ever see like some ghosts in that motherfucker? That'd be Not cool. yet. And is crazy Calvin I think you have to believe in ghosts to crazy. see them. Crazy. It's another question. And oh, been... how did I meet Carlito? I met Carlito like I heard his show a few times, you know, off and on, just throughout the communities and stuff. And then in 2009, like I don't know, we hooked up somehow and started broadcasting on each other's networks. Or was that 2010 we started doing that? I think I started listening to him a little bit more regularly back in 2009 when I first started doing my show on Party 93.4. I actually don't remember exactly how we met. We just started chatting online. I've never met him in real life yet. Showing your Soon, work to a lot of people at work all the time. Like uh, like me and my friends, we ate Taco Bell the other night. You don't have like, friends. Listen to you and then we listened to a Carlito show and just ate tacos and laughed our ass off. So that was pretty cool. Oh, and I used to have, uh, you know who Alexis Arquette is? You gotta use drugs, like Corbin Guy does. He's an actress, Why actor, you? you know, transsexual Lots guy. Of alcohol. I used to have his phone number, because he gave it to me, because he was very flirty and stuff, and he was cool. Uh, you know, the guy from Wedding Singer and all that, that, do you really hmm? want to hurt me? Yeah, I used to have his phone number, I still do, but he died a couple years ago, so. Ah. You can call, but he's not gonna answer. What a bummer. Anyways, those are just some questions I've been wondering. Just that uh, I can't anyway. prank call him, I mean. It's Chudos, motherfucker, you. Bye, Jack. Holy crap, there's a lot of voicemails today. I think I'm going to listen to every single one. Okay, so it is 4 in the morning. Well, 3.35 to be exact, all right? Not that that matters. I just wanted to specify one thing. I left a voicemail saying you should do customer service prank calls, and I was not clear enough, obviously. So here is the... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Here is the thing that I had had in mind okay and that is you should find that stuff on there on twitter and shit from all the stupid complainers because they're yeah. all stupid they're always stupid that's dwight's department now dwight does those calls all the time if you like those kind of calls you should listen to the dwight show on prankcallnation.com every saturday evening around seven or so or i guess around 10 your time but i agree i should start doing that again it's been a while <laughs> Those and check-in calls. I miss doing the check-in calls. Some Yelp check-ins or whatever. Whatever people are using these days. Doesn't matter. You should call, see if you can find their numbers. Call them motherfuckers up. Okay. And say, hi, I'm from there. And then just, like, fuck with them. It's the greatest thing in the world. And I love it. Because people get fucking mad because they believe you. Yep. But that's all I got to say. You should hear this Dwight do it. have gotten too it's long. So pretty funny. Up now. I'm going to give yourself a fantastic day. And happy Valentine's Day. Well, it's not Thanks. Valentine's Day anymore. All right. Bye. Yeah, what the hell? It's 3.30 3 in the yeah. morning. How do you hang up? You just hang up. Durr. Cactus. Only because they made a threat. Oh, I love that. MC Lars, uh, the college song. Yeah. I don't know. That was my first time hearing that. Statutory but I was worth rap. waiting through all those voicemails of people, you know, talking gibberish and shit. Yeah, like this um, one. There was some good voicemails, though. That was a great show. I love that stuff about the gypsies and Thank you. California PA. I don't know. Leave it to you to find these, like, weird, interesting stories and then intersect them with well it's not me prank calls somebody sent that stuff in to me that's one of the reasons I thanks love whoever show, sent man. that one in the good work even though it was a short episode people like you entertaining sending cool great. stuff in um there are a couple good voicemails too i like that australian guy even though i don't know what the fuck he's saying whenever he calls it's like he's talking a different language yeah it's fucking australian and then that chick who listens with her dad she's always entertaining that's always good she's okay uh yeah i'm gonna cut myself off now yeah, th thanks for the voicemail voice reviews. I don't have to be one of them. All right, peace. We needed that. I could just stop playing voicemails and just have this guy review all the voicemails. 
So the voicemail segment hey, Brad, Will, I'm just checking in will on be you. shorter. Um, this is probably going to be the last time I'm leaving a voicemail, at least for a while. Aww. Um, but I just wanted too? to say that, um, you know, I appreciate every single show that you've done. You know, you have even the shitty left ones? a big impact on my life, whether you like it or not. You left an impact Damn. on everyone's lives because, you know, you, uh, you, like, you're funny. Like, like you Safeway? Know? I listen to your show. <laughs> yeah, the Eyes Life? Day, whether I'm working out or just doing or running, whatever I'm, do- whatever I'm doing, I'm listening to you. You know, playing games, whatever. You know, I, when I order food, I order, I don't put my name. Why are you going to listen to you? I put food under... Why are, you lis- Doug, why are you leaving? Steve, Dave, or Powder, even. And even when I deal with people, I, I act Powder. like you sometimes, whether that's good or not. They're going to think you're a cocaine addict but I just want or a racist. I want to let you know that, you know, you have a positive impact on people's lives. Yay. You know, especially mine. I can speak for myself. But, you know, whenever I get back to listen to you, I got lots of catching up to do, obviously. Because it's probably going to be a couple months. At least, maybe maybe even a year. Why? But I just want to let you know Where that you before I head out. What are you doing? And, um... You know, it's been real. It's been great. So going I just to want prison? To know that man. I appreciate everything you do. So it's been a, uh, it's been real, Brad Carter. Thanks, Will. Peace. Enjoy prison. I'll be thinking of you. Write down my PO box. Send me a letter from prison. Hey, Brad. It's Crazy Calvin. Hey, Crazy so Calvin. So I got uh, was finishing setting up my new cell phone. I got it all PLAified. Yay. So, I have the Snowplow Show logo as my wallpaper and my lock screen. I don't even do that. I have the PLA Blue Box app installed. I have the PLA book downloaded and the PLA Zine Collection PDF downloaded. There's shortcuts to them on my home oh my screen God. so I can read them whenever I want. Who reads that shit anymore? And I also, there's a programmable key on the side of this phone, and when you press into it, it launches the Cacti Radio live stream. Wow. Go, PLA! That's amazing. Cacti Cactus. Is it Greg T's new app, or is it just some random podcast or streamer app? I think we need a video demonstration of how PLA-ified your phone is. Hey, Brad, this is El Chupacabra. I just want to let you know that uh, it's not just a coyote with rabies. It actually shows genetic markers of Mexican wolf, which hasn't been in Texas in hundreds of years. What? So there you go. Okay, thanks for that informative voicemail. Here's another one from him. Maybe it explains what the fuck he's talking about. Hey, Brad, about. this is a chupacabra again. Just wanted to let you know that my wife tried one of your pranks on my dad. He's 88 years old, and she told him that uh, he was no longer going to be able to drive after 6 p.m. anymore, and he wasn't going to be able to go faster than 55. Nice. He really got pissed off, but it was really funny because he actually pleaded with her and asked if he could still drive if he wore a helmet. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's something you could incorporate into some future pranks. Why didn't you record it? Like, send it to me. Tell your stupid wife to record stuff like yeah, maybe this. Maybe you ought to tell those old parts that yeah, they can keep driving if they're old as long as they wear a helmet. I'm so, sorry anyway, that I called her dude, stupid. Cactus, cactus. Your wife isn't stupid. I shouldn't have said that. These prank calls are starting to be a bad influence on me. Right. So, I uh, really, really like the Mr. Dabalina's World of Prank Calls because uh, I started listening to you. I found out about you. Worldofprankcalls.com, everyone. Go listen. New show every single week. At around 2015, so a lot of those calls that you're playing were the ones that I first started hearing. So it's like a blast from the past, right? Um, one recommendation that I would make is if you can find that call when you call that girl and she's like, you're telling her that she's going to be in the in the boiler room for her cruise, and she's oh, just yeah. laughing her ass off about Polly Shore and all the stupid Didn't shit. Didn't I you're use that one already? Maybe not. I'm sure that'll come up eventually. It's kind of a long call, though. Man, she's just laughing and laughing, right? I start cracking up so much, too, because of how much she's laughing. It's just ridiculous, but it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, so that's something that I would play. And, uh, oh, by the way, I just found out I'm having a kid. And I'm going to name him Brad after you. I got permission from my wife. So <laughs> you're going to have an illegitimate son, Brad Jr. You're gonna, yeah, Brad Jr. is going to be it. So, Yay. yeah. Okay, bye. Let me know where to send the child support. Make the middle name PLA. Hey, Brad. It's Olga. Hey, Olga. King Richard and I just got done cybering, and we have a joke for you. T- TMI. Is Google male or female? Female, because it doesn't let you finish a sentence before making a suggestion. That's okay. pretty good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Olga and King Richard. Brad, this is you from the future. I have to warn you, on October 26, 2019, you are going to go to Chipotle for lunch. There, you will eat a burrito bowl. 
Later that day, yeah. we'll be in Walmart that doesn't shopping, sound like me. and we'll have an explosive bout of diarrhea, which will result in you being banned from the Walmart for life. This will cause Correct. a catastrophic downward spiral from which you will never recover. Don't eat the burrito bowl. Thanks, Brad. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks, Brad. I'm going to write this down. Never go to Chipotle again. Hey, Brad. It's Copper Dan. Hey. I've got a couple funny phone calls my way. I sent you a request uh, to prank someone that I knew. Okay. And they worked right near Menchie's. Oh, and they're absolutely get freaking right on out. That. So I'm calling you to make sure you play that if you could, please. All right. Thank you, okay. Brad. Good day. Yay. A voicemail to tell me I have an email. That's great. Nothing I like better than that. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey. So I am going to speak very clearly on this voicemail. I call people for a living, actually. And uh, it makes I have the volume all the way up. You're really, really quiet, Crimson. Are you sure you call people for a living? Uh, it's a lot closer, guy. Uh, anyway, uh, Brad, you said that uh, Talking you to the know, wrong end. defacing the currency to promote the show would get you in trouble with the FBI. Wrong! It would get you in trouble with the Secret Service. Come on, Brad. Get your federal enforcement agencies right. No, sorry. The other thing Stupid is Bruce the Monkey Boy. He played uh, a supposed prank call. Come on, everybody can see through that. He just called himself. He just called himself. You could hear it in the voice, obviously. And then even with the fake car crash at the end of the call. Yeah, Come nice on, try, Brad. Ruprecht. Come on, no one's falling for that. All right. Bye-bye. I bye. didn't believe Good it for bye. a second. Thank you for listening to my message. Oh, hey there. Great big uh, RBCP there. Hey. Yeah, I'm just thinking of you. Uh, and uh, I want to know... 38.9. I want to know everything that you know about teledildonics. Okay? okay. So, uh. 1814. Tell that kid to shut the fuck up. So just, uh, just reach out to me. Uh, and, 14. and 14. Kicker. Uh, so just reach Kicker. out to me and 14. Dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. About Yeah, your kid is so cute. Know everything you know about teledildonics. Now shut the fuck up! Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Never heard of it. Hey, Brad. Just calling Maybe me. I just can't remember because that damn kid was so distracting. From uh, down in Florida. I was wondering uh, if you would ever get a goddamn schedule for your uh, for your live shows. Maybe then we can all catch it. Maybe, nah. uh, maybe get a schedule. Yeah, that'd be cool. Until then, uh, I'd like to see some more hang up the damn phone. And okay. uh, yeah, and maybe some, some more more of that beautiful face. All right, Roy, keep it up, man. Yeah, nice sarcasm. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, somebody gave me a link to the the soundboard, the Hang Up the Phone soundboard. It was created by a person on Facebook, on the group, by the name of Dino Alsman, and somebody else sent it to me before that person. So I'm going to put a link to this in the show notes so you can make your very own Hang Up the Phone calls. Hang Up the Phone. Like, it's got all these quotes in here. Well, you hang up the phone, and we'll see. I'm not telling you my name. But you better hang up the phone. You better hang it up. It's just... Well, why don't you hang it up then? It's just a bunch of this. I'm not hanging up shit. Don't worry about who I am. You better hang it up, you big dumb retard. <laughs> Quit asking questions and hang up. There's got to be at least 50 buttons on here that you can press. It's a flash soundboard, so it probably won't work on your phone. But I'm going to put a link to this in the show notes right now if you want to use it to make your very own hang up the phone calls. Somebody should convert this into a phone app. Maybe. I don't know. Would that be any better? Yes. Hi there, Brad. I'm calling in regards to the Brazilian-American community uh, who I feel would greatly enjoy your show, but I'm having trouble locating any um, Portuguese-language dubs of the Snowplow show. So if you could uh, go ahead and start wor working on that, I do think it would um, help diversify your listener base. Okay. Uh, thanks very much. It's JC speaking, and uh, I enjoy the show. Bye-bye. I'm going to start recording a fourth language of the show. As you Patreon people know, I, I record the show in uh, three different languages already, including Paris Talk and Clicks and Whistles. So I guess Portuguese is next? Hi. Maybe I'll get John Travolta to read a book on Portuguese. This is Steve Johnson calling with Comcast. So he can help me out. And we have some residents here in Saratoga, California. Uh, the zip code is 95070. You should be Googling that zip code. It's one of the richest 
Uh, zip codes in the United States of America were roughly uh, homes go for about 2.5 million. I think you should uh, call some people here in Saratoga telling them that these uh, okay. numbers have been outbidded. I'm going to do pick it. up some random 408-8-6-7-4-0-8-7-4-1. Uh, you could even do Los Gatos, 408 3 okay, 5 Okay, all right. I'm looking at the transcript, and it just goes on and on and on. I get it. Los Gatos. I'll get right on top of that, Rose. Brad, I know you're not really, uh, you know, up on pop culture and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, not me. But I found a good song for you. Uh Last show you were talking about the Pussy song, which is a classic. Uh, this is kind of like a sequel, almost. Oh, yeah. Uh, like a follow-up song that would also be good whole music. It's called pussy Broken song Pussy is working so by well. Issa Rae from a TV show called Insecure. Uh, I've been binge-watching this show. It's fucking awesome. Probably, probably wouldn't like it. but yeah, Probably not. It's a black chick, and she's singing you about You seem to have a lot of opinions on what I like. Because she's got a broken pussy. But, um... It's a great song. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to listen to it because I probably won't like it. Hey, Arby. It's the Duelist. Hey, I was uh, mm-hmm. just thinking you should start calling Maytag repairmen and making fun of them about how lazy are they are because they never do anything. Because uh, Maytags never break and all that stupid stuff. So, uh, love okay. the show. Talk to you later. Bye. Next show, calling up Maytag repairmen. Listen, Brad, you absolute drop kick. You fucking muppet. Uh, you were talking about cause of mass confusion, and you said patreon.com slash comc. Oh, I don't know what comc stands for. Well, maybe it's cause of mass confusion. Oh my gosh, you don't say. Uh, it's almost as if I was just kidding about that. Uh, so, Brad, uh... Oh, shit. That's wow. That's very smart. Um... What the coins, this? the Patreon and the coins. Uh, I worked out... Yeah, I can't understand you. Try again. Call back. Hi, Brad. It's Max Power. Hello. So I have kind of like a suggestion for the 2008 PLA coin. If it's not too late, if it is too late, day I tried. But you should have uh, the words "In Cactus We Trust" on the coins. Yeah. Either that or "In Roy We Swear We Trust." Okay. Um. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, go ahead and make those suggestions. I'm gonna All yell right, at thanks, Don Don Fickles about that. Have him make some changes. Uh, I just beat your stupid voicemail thanks for the I, I always waited three batch get but now this time I press the button to skip oh wow you're anyways genius. I just wanted to say that you're a fantastic guy your snow pile show Thank you. your show makes me feel fantastic I, I always tell. listen to your show as I'm going to sleep because it makes me feel like I have a person there talking to me and I am the lonely person sad. in the world. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being the best, the best host of a prank call show ever. You're welcome. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to hear myself up on the stream. Yep. You have this yourself a fantastic day. Blow your mind. And thank you again for being such a great guy. Bye. You're going to be half asleep listening to this show. Your voicemail is going to be on the very end, and you'll be so excited you won't be able to sleep that night. So, haha. I hope you feel like shit in the morning. That's the last voicemail. I mean, except there's three others here by Corbin Guy. I didn't delete them, but I don't know. I don't want to play them right now. Maybe next time. Maybe I'll just delete them. I don't know. So, that's all for today's episode of the Snowplow Show. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you, Kirsty, for being a supporter on the Patreon. If you're not a supporter on the Patreon, then you should be. It's patreon.com slash phone losers. Just $5 a month gets you access to about 80 secret shows that you've never heard before, unless you've been cheating the system. But you also get at least one extra show every week, sometimes two, sometimes three. It's totally worth it and not a scam at all. Patreon.com slash phone losers. And don't forget to go support the Kickstarter. Search for Phone Losers on Kickstarter or go to the show notes and click on it. It's very important that everybody supports it so we can maybe possibly get some Snowplow Show coins that I have no ideas for at all. And I don't know what we would possibly put on them since Snowplow Show doesn't even have a logo or anything. I guess according to that guy before, we'll put in Roy We Trust on it. Quick, somebody make a logo for the Snowplow Show. We need that immediately. Hurry the fuck up. Thanks for listening, everyone. See you next time. Let's end the show with some Sesame Street. Everybody loves Sesame Street. Sesame Street.